Hi folks, good day from Ireland, Jonathan Power is my name and I'm going to do a quick video tutorial of a new plugin that's available for the Beaver Builder page builder and it's called custom preset generator it allows you to generate custom presets for the Beaver Builder theme which I'm using also and you can save them and you can export and import them into another site and stuff so i've set up two demo sites and i'm going to create a preset and export it and import it into the other site there's a free version available on the wordpress repository called custom preset generator by shimlai that runs the wp beaver world website and if we go over there he has different modules and themes and plugins available and we want to go into view details of the custom preset generator and down at the bottom we'll see the difference between the light and the pro version for 15 dollars great value it'll really speed up your workflow you get unlimited site license and as i previously said there one of my favorite features is the import and export presets i'll be going through all of this now so when we install our plugin and when we launch the page builder we get a new tab up here called my presets so i'm going to add a new preset call it testing five and i want to make it default so that it'll come into action straight away so you have different tabs general header content footer and code it's identical to what you have in the customizer in the in the beaver builder team but you're not launching the customizer all the time so you're not going into these long menus and trying to find things it's a really clever idea it's it's well thought out what shimlite has done there and you can see that it's really fast to find things so i'm just going to change the background color my I want to put the width to boxed and background color just put down to something nice and light and just change our fonts Montserrat's a nice font lovely font there and if we go to content as well blog layout i'm going to put the sidebar over to the left so i'm just going to leave it simple at that i don't need to go through all this because as i said there it's identical to the the settings that you have in the presets in the theme so i just want to apply that now And there we have it. when we go to go to our post and view it there we have it i've moved the sidebar over to the left the background color is there and my heading fonts and the text fonts are changed so i want to you can edit your preset the name it'll be there it was a uh, testing five we called it there was just one thing I want to explain about uh, background images. It might confuse some people where we content yet background image. I'm just going to put in an image there to explain this. Our image is there. And now to get rid of it, it was something that during testing that when we were talking about it, it came up. I was going into edit. And I was deselecting the image like that and closing the box. And it wasn't uh, deleting the image unless you're replacing it with another image, of course. What you actually do is you actually go into replace and just close the box. And then there's no image uh, selected because we didn't pick one. And when you save that, it'll get rid of the image. And the same applies for the header and other background images in different places. It's the same mechanism for getting rid of them. So we have that there, publish changes. So I want to, another great feature, when you do go into the customizer, you could have loads of different presets 
and your custom presets they all show up in the selection menu there for presets so if you had a client you could very quickly show them different color variations and different layouts for a site just by using the presets there and the last thing i'm going to show now is the export and import my presets import export and just want to select all this code here copy just close it and i'm going to my second uh, this is my other testing site now my presets import export import just paste in the code that i just copied there save it and you'll see there that it's there now the the title has changed because it has actually imported that from my from my other uh, site so i want to go into where is it now it's under general is it the the site identity there it is yeah i'll just change it do you see what i mean there that it's imported that from the other side that's why the name is incorrect so i just want to put that back right so we know that we're in the <coughs> correct site see it's there actually that's how we know so if i go back here and then to the posts and if you You'll see that sidebars over to the left that it's identical. Testing one and testing two. So you can see there that it's great value at $15. And you can see that, that how much it's going to speed up your workflow. You're not launching the customizer all the time. Page builder is there. And then you go into my presets and it was testing five, I called it. And you can edit it away there and change your fonts and everything really quickly so i hope you enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching bye for now